Well, I opened my bedroom curtains this morning, rather late, and I uh, saw these three on the driveway. So yeah, oh, hello, little boy. Uh, we have Shed Hoover out, well, who's not in the shed, obviously, but he is going to be very essential in this video because we have three Dysons to look at. Um, where to start? Um, I'll let you know I've plugged them all in, and I wouldn't say any of them are working, but they all they all make noises, so that's a good start. Um, do you mind? Right, we'll start with this one. Backstory time. You probably won't remember I had a blue DC-19 in 2017. I vaguely remember it. But the friends that DC-19 came from is where these three came from. Now, this was either their mother-in-law's or their sister. I can't remember the exact story. But I've had this one before. In late 2017, about nine months after they given me that DC-19, I got this. It's probably not very nice now, but I refurbished it and put a new motor in. And that would explain where this pad filter has come from. You can see that's not the original. Why am I shaking so much? Blame me. Anyway, so that's why that pad filter is not original. That's full of muck, which is actually a good sign. Maybe it's still working. Seal's a bit kinked there. Uh, that seal's not really doing its thing. Let's have a look at this. Now, I think this is genuine, so I clearly didn't change this one. Oh, look, it's got one of its wee things in there. Yep, that's quite dirty. Do we need to clean that? I suppose we better clean it. I'm going to put it on again. Uh, come on, then. Out you come. Come on. Cannot get this thing out. Right, there we are. Yeah, so that'll need to go through the washing machine. The rest of it's alright. There's an attachment. This is the only one with an attachment. And I think this was the same attachment it had when I got it. I think it's had water down there or whatever. Because it's all about good. Yeah, it's all a wee bit good. Let's put this back in its rightful holster. Um, let's see the hose. Um, how does this work? Oh, you have to press the button. I thought it was like a DC-25 wand. Come on, can you go back down? We put, oh, no wand cap. I actually noticed that in my bedroom window. Uh, Ta-da! That's disgusting. Um, well, let's actually put this back in, so that when we plug it in, you get the full experience. Um, also, so Franco doesn't eat stuff or lick the filter, which he seems to be doing. Franco, what have you... Ah, yeah, a wee bit dusty. Right, let's plug it in and see what happens, eh? We go all over the place. First video I've made in ages. We're actually isolating in a minute, so, you know, this is quite a fun surprise. Sniff, sniff. It works, but the suction is crud. Unless it's, unless you have to pull this out for the suction to go on. Let's kick it back. Just hey, I'm trying not to scuff it loads on the driveway. Let's see if this works. Okay. Nice. <laughs> Blimey. Okay, so that kind of just pooed all over the driveway. I'll just go like that. So I'm going to guess there's no suction and they've kept using it and just filled it with fluff. Um, okay. So obviously we might have to go and empty this and clean it all out. Okay. Let's move on to... Well, let's not block Franco out. That would be very mean. Let's try this Dyson. Mmm. It's a newer one. Uh, DC50, but it's got the slider on it. The plug puts it to 2015, and in my head that's still brand new. Does it work? I think it could do better. And it's also spilling fluff out of it. 
What happens if I do this? It's very noisy and uh, it doesn't sound like it's doing very much. Uh, what are you chewing on? Oh well. It doesn't sound like it's doing anything. Let's check the well, let's look at the hose. Hose is pretty clean. It's all a bit kinked up but it's not bad. I had a DC50 for quite a lot of years ago and it's it's quite confusing this bit actually. It's like a double wand because there's the bit halfway through there. Yeah, not bad. And if we look in here, it's very full. And ah the filter's clogged. Um what's it like under here? Well, there's actually hair poking out of this. Let's have a look at this. Hello. See, he's kind of always oh, got the thing at that DC33. You shouldn't really be eating and stuff like that, pal. Let's take this out and let's see what happens. Right, there's no. Ah, there we are. Right, there's no clean with my dusting brush, right? That's not on. Not really allowed to do that, Franco. Are you bored? Poor thing's bored. That's really not bad at all, is it? Um, we all collectively have seen much worse. Um, so what's it like under there? Oh, clogged. Just as you'd expect. So I take it this whole thing is just blocked. Um, should get the tripod and hoover it all out. So yeah, this one is all a bit blocked and clogged and a bit nasty. So that means there's room for improvement. Now the last Dyson. Now I think they might have replaced their DC-19 with us. I honestly think he's going to eat that dusting brush. There's just so much to eat little boy isn't there? Right, that's Henry's brush. Right, so this is what I've got for this one. We have a hose. Uh, quite a nice looking head which hasn't lost all its brushes. Bris brushes? Bristles. There's also a wand which doesn't click all the way home and it's been annoying me all morning because look it doesn't quite go down. It doesn't just go into that last wee stretch. But the rest of the wand is alright. Um, yeah. It's also covered in plaster dust. Um, they were renovating at some point. Yep, it's all a bit filthy. <sighs> Is there any point in plugging this one in? I suppose there's maybe a point in plugging it in to let you hear the motor run and we'll plug it in like this. I don't want to inhale all that plastic dust into it. Is it on or off? That motor is nice and strong sounding. But the whole thing's full of plaster dust. So Let's set about them with shed hoover and empty them all etc and then plug them in and see how they are after cleaning. Right so I've just discovered, well discovered, it's a bit dramatic but I've just noticed while emptying this the bin flap is broken on this. Um, but let's, let's have another look at the filler just before I clean it. Yeah, it's spewing fluff out. This, I actually think you can tell this has been serviced because it's not actually that bad. Um, so we'll have to clean the filter on this as well, actually, won't we? Um, yeah. So yeah, they're not too bad. I just think they, these people don't empty them. Do they not know how to empty them? Maybe I need to lecture them a bit more. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to continue cleaning them with a the Henry and then we'll come back and test them again. Right, we'll start with this one. I've hoovered the bin and the filter off. The one thing I haven't hoovered out is the brush roll chamber thing. So anything that's in there should get sucked into the bin. So, let's give it a go. Okay, it's still blocked. Well, it's not blocked in the upright position, okay. So actually I probably should have hoovered out that. Whoa, I forgot how bendy these were. Oh my Goodness, that goes 90 degrees. Oh my giddy on. I used to love my DC50 actually. I thought it was quite a good wee hoover for what it was. Um, so we're going to have to clean 
getting this thing out. Hang on. Ah, right, okay, so it's just choked here as well. The whole thing on this is choked. Crikey. Eh, uh, we'll have to get a shed Henry out again. Sorry, that didn't quite go to plan. I was expecting to just plug it in and a big dramatic moment, all the fluff would go up it. Well, that was easy. Yeah, that was like three seconds for Shed Henry. Oh, there's fluff poking out of it here. Let's just hope we can suck that into it now. Is that a head in? I can't really tell. Do you know, I probably would still have my DC-50 if I hadn't had to sell it to fund my pneumatic Lewis. There we go. So yeah, that's what was clogging it as well. Oh, there's hair and stuff in the motor bay. That's not very good. Oh, this is leaking dust. Oh, of course, the bin flap's broken. Let's be very careful with it then. Blimey, it's noisy. I don't remember it being that noisy when I had one of these. Um, yeah, so that works. It really sounds like a cheap Beldry Hoover or something. Something you would get at Poundland. But yeah, it works. So, you know. Though the brush roll's also pretty bald. I don't know if I mentioned that or not. So yeah, let's give this one a go now. Um. Personally, I really don't think you can, if you need a solid hoover, you can't really go wrong with a 33. But, you know, they are a bit rubbish. But if it has to be something like a Dyson, then you're never going to go wrong with them. That's what I'm saying. So that works. Let's recline it. Right, so that didn't suck anything in. So it's either not blocked. Oh, this is gonna fall. Ah, it's not really blocked this one, it's just full of hair. Full of hair, yikes. Yo, this is actually worn blimey. Oh my goodness, look at that wheel. It's actually worn flat. It stopped spinning and it's worn flat. Oh my goodness. aunt. So yeah, it needs a soul plate to be tidy, but yeah, I really don't think you can go wrong with these. <laughs> Oh, We're losing suction somewhere because that's blur. Um, we'll get to the bottom of that, I am sure. Yeah, so that's two of them working. What are we going to do with this? I haven't actually touched the filter on this yet. I'll give it a wee hoover and then see what happens. Right, I've probably gone and blocked Shed Henry now because I did just clean the filter of this with him. But, let's see if it works. That seems to work rather well. It seems to get faster when you seal it to the floor. Wow. Now it's occurred to me this is a 700 watt one or whatever. So it's not very old at all. They'll work. So why would you get rid of them is my question. But hey, thank you very much for watching. Poor Shed Henry is going to be choked now. Let's see if it's spewed dust everywhere now. Did it, did it, did it. Oh, not bad at all. Oh, not bad at all. So these green HEPA flows, I'm telling you, they're, they're the way to go. Don't bother with red ones. You'd be as well putting a plastic bag in there. Um, yeah, well done, Shade Henry. That's another few dice because you've mixed good. So yeah, who knows what will happen with these Dysons because it gets to the stage I can't be bothered refurbing them and then I just sell them on Gumtree for 15 quid. But I think I will actually do these ones up. The thing is with these two, they're probably small enough to package and put on eBay and could when you put anything on eBay you get more for it. 
That one could just be a local Gumtree seller. See if someone needs a relatively low cost Hoover. Yeah, can't complain. Yeah, here I am probably complaining, I will. Yeah, this one's still plugged in. Yeah. yeah, I might go give one a go in the house. Don't think anyone's ears will be able to cope with that one. And I don't really like DC-33s from my wooden floor. So it looks like we're going to give this one a go then. Nice. Thank you for watching.